Judy, four lawmen raised their right hands and swore to tell nothing but the truth about what happened January 6th, marked as one of America's worst days. Since then, the truth has been in short supply, and these officers who say they're fortunate to have survived the violent uprising tonight are trying to set the record straight. The indifference shown to my colleagues is disgraceful. D.C. Metro Police Officer Michael Fanone is livid that any politician would downplay what he calls the medieval battle scene that happened here at the U.S. Capitol that January day, when he says violent intruders kept repeating, kill him with his own gun. Instead, some of the attackers beat him unconscious, he says triggering a heart attack and a traumatic brain injury. They beat me. Uh, I was struck with a taser device at the base of my skull numerous times. And they continued to do so uh, until I yelled out that I have kids. These events of January 6th now under investigation by this select committee, primarily comprised of Democrats. Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger of Kankakee is one of two Republicans on the panel with Wyoming's Liz Cheney. Kinzinger today overcome by the emotion of the moment and memory of that day when he too was captive in the Capitol. I never expected a day to be <clears throat> quite as emotional for me as it has been. Uh, I've talked to a number of you and gotten to know you. I think it's important to tell you right now though, you guys may like individually feel a little broken. You guys all talk about the effects you have to deal with and you know, you talk about the impact of that day. But you guys won. You guys held. You know, democracies are not defined by our bad days. We're defined by how we come back from bad days. How we take accountability for that. Kinzinger has already been targeted for punishment by national Republicans, along with Cheney, for their break from the GOP to join that January 6th committee. The political flap playing out after House Democrats rejected five Republicans that the party wanted on board, and now a committee boycott by most Republicans. Next up for that committee, expected subpoenas to top officials of the Trump White House to find out what they knew about January 6th and when, subpoenas that could reach to the former president himself, setting up quite a congressional power play.